Hi, I'm Katie Barnett from Pennsylvania Virtual Charter School. Today we are going to practice one of my favorite math games, actually two of my favorite math games. So all we're gonna need is a deck of cards. The first game is called Making 10. And the goal of this obviously is to get rid of all of the cards by making 10. So we're gonna do that first by flipping over cards one at a time, looking to find two cards that I can make 10 with. Oh, look at that, eight plus two equals 10. Now, if you have younger learners, cards are perfect because there are counters on the cards. So all you have to do is ask your students to count them up. And hopefully the more they practice these, the easier the math facts will become. So we'll have eight plus two here, which means I can cover those two up with two new cards. So I cannot make 10 with any of these, so I'm going to continue along. Oh, but nine plus one, that one I can cover up. Oh, and again, seven plus three. Now face cards will all count as 10, and if you get four of a kind, we can cover up those as well. So I'm gonna continue flipping here. Ooh, two jacks so far. Oop, there's a five to go with my other five. Oop, there's a six to go with my four. Oh, wait, that's a double and an eight to go with my two. Again, oh, oh, nine plus one, I almost missed that one. Oop, and there's a seven and a three. See how much fun this is? Seven plus three again. And we're getting a lot of repetition with the same ways to make 10, which is very beneficial to our kindergarten and first graders who are learning those basic math facts. So I'm gonna, ooh, there's good. Looking good, looking good. And I lost. So <laughs> ultimately this is going to, most of the time you're not going to win, but it's really fun when you do. I got through about half the deck. So to play again, I would simply shuffle all my cards up and do it again. I'm gonna show you the other game that I love to play. It's a variation of war. Now, if you remember war, you have two players, you each put a card down, whoever has the greater number wins. And they collect the cards. The goal being, to again, to collect all the cards. Um, the opposite of our last game, which is getting rid of all of them. So this is addition or subtraction. You could also do it with multiplication and division, but it's a little bit easier with adding and subtracting. So each player will lay down two cards and add up their cards. So player one here has five plus six, which is 11, and then 10 plus eight, which is 18. So the player with 18 would win, so that player would collect the two. So let's say that you had, so around another round, we have eight plus eight, one plus six, obviously 16 is greater than seven, so that player would collect. As you get to an activity where you have war, for example, if both have the same sum, it's the same rules as normal war. You would each lay down three, and then simply the greatest number would win. So these are some fantastic ways to practice basic math facts away from worksheets, away from number lines or basic counters. It's a really fun way to engage not only one student, but multiple students of different ages and, and grade levels. Now, if you're looking for a variation to make this a little bit more difficult, you could uh, simply vary it by subtracting instead of adding. Let's put out the same two cards. So this one would be six minus one versus six minus five. And then the person with the larger difference would keep the cards. So keep in mind that these are some fun activities you can do at home to help practice the basic math facts with your students. <laughs>